That's interesting. I, I wonder, have you heard of the, the most extreme example I've ever heard of that? Doesn't actually relate to a human. Have you heard the monkey example of the monkey who got the rights to the photo? So there, there's a story, there's a story of, uh, somebody told me this when I, I was talking to them about a charity project and they, um, I guess there was a camera, I don't know if it was in the zoo or in the jungle, and a monkey went up to the camera and took a selfie. Um, mm -hmm. The person whose camera it was, uh, you know, assumed that that was his photo because it right. was his camera. Um, and then I forget the animal organization, Peter, something like that. They determined that the monkey actually owned the rights to the, to the likeness and license of, um, the image and the guy lost everything. He lost all like the money he made from the photo, like everything. It's the craziest thing ever. Yeah. I'll have to look that up when we're done with this. Yeah. That is outrageous. I know. Because I was, it was a serious question because I was talking about putting a camera in the ocean and I asked, uh -huh. I, I seriously asked the guy that I was talking to, I was like, if a shark comes, does the shark then own the likeness to the video that we're taking? <laughs> like, how do you, do you settle, do you bring the, the shark into court? Like, how does that, yeah, okay. how does that communicate? There, there are some communication barriers there. Um, yeah, it is, there's been a lot written about legal rights extended to animals and there's actually a course i took uh one of the electives in law school was called animal law and it sort of got into that like books have been written about extending limited legal rights to chimpanzees and related oh, apes and, stuff like that. and it's like you i mean they're pretty much at this point purely intellectual arguments but it comes up in court from time to time. Like I remember some of the cases we talked about in that book had to do with like sea world keeping whales in captivity and it, you know, should you extend some kind of limited personal rights to animals? But the idea of like uh, publicity rights with a monkey, I think that's, that's more of a reach than I've heard of before. So. Yeah. No, I, I, I do really like uh, personal rights when it comes to like, like there are some animals that some of these, uh, a cra I, I know a gray white shark is an example. If you put a gray white shark in captivity, it dies. Right. So of course there should be laws that prevent people from killing great white sharks for entertainment's right. sake. Um, right. You know, so in terms of, of that, I think there's a great point to be made, but like you said, when it comes to other things. Like the property rights, I think like, might be. Like the right to vote. I don't yeah. think that whales should have <laughs> the right to vote. Personally, somebody's yeah. probably going to disagree with me, but I don't think whales should have the right to vote. <laughs> yeah, yeah, not yet at least. They're not there yet. Not until they can articulate why they're voting for said candidate. Right. So well, that's more, than, that's more than a lot of people can do right now, so maybe yeah. that's too much of a standard. <laughs> maybe, maybe whales should be able to vote. Maybe. Yeah. Maybe. On second yeah. thought, let them vote. 